In the vast stretches of North America's grasslands, a tale of survival, resilience, and hope unfolds. The protagonist of our story is none other than the black-footed ferret, one of the continent's most endangered mammals. With a mask-like face, black feet, and a curious nature, this ferret is not just another creature. It's a symbol of the delicate balance of our ecosystem. Once, the black-footed ferret roamed freely across the Great Plains, mountain basins, and semi-arid grasslands, spanning 12 states from Arizona to Wyoming, and even reaching the Canadian province of Saskatchewan and the Mexican state of Chihuahua. But as with many tales of wildlife, the ferret's story took a dark turn. By the late 20th century, they were believed to be extinct, their numbers decimated by habitat loss and disease. However, in a twist of fate, a small population was rediscovered in Wyoming in 1981. This discovery sparked a beacon of hope and initiated a series of extraordinary measures to save the species. Partnerships formed and conservationists embarked on a mission to give the black-footed ferret a second chance. Central to the ferret's existence is its unique relationship with prairie dogs. These burrowing rodents are the ferret's primary prey, making up to 75% of their diet. But more than just food, prairie dog colonies offer the ferret shelter and a place to raise their young. The ferret doesn't dig its own burrows. Instead, it modifies and inhabits those made by prairie dogs. This symbiotic relationship signifies the health of the grassland ecosystem, making the ferret's survival a testament to the vitality of these lands. Yet, challenges persist. The ferret's dependence on prairie dogs is a double-edged sword. As prairie dog habitats shrink, so do the chances for the ferret's recovery. Diseases, especially those affecting prairie dogs, pose a significant threat. But with every challenge comes an opportunity. Conservationists have turned to innovative methods, from captive breeding to reintroductions, and even exploring the realms of cloning to bolster the ferret's numbers. Today, thanks to these relentless efforts, over 300 black-footed ferrets roam the wild once again. But the journey is far from over. To truly secure a future for this species, biologists estimate a need for at least 3,000 adult ferrets in the wild. Delving deeper into the life of the black-footed ferret, we find a creature of mystery and intrigue. Their elusive nature, nocturnal habits, and underground dwellings have often kept them hidden from human eyes. In fact, their secretive behavior once led to doubts about their very existence in the scientific community. Physically, these ferrets are a marvel. Their bodies, ranging from 19 to 24 inches, are adorned with a unique pattern. Black feet, a tail tip to match, and a distinctive mask across their eyes. This mask, combined with their yellowish buff fur, makes them a sight to behold in the moonlit grasslands. But life in the wild isn't easy. The black-footed ferret faces a myriad of challenges. From the moment they are born, altricial and helpless, they depend entirely on their mothers. These young kits, with eyes that remain closed for over a month, are frequently moved from burrow to burrow for safety. As they grow, reaching adult weight after about 125 days, they prepare to face the world above ground. By autumn, around 100 days old, they disperse from their natal dens, marking the beginning of their own journeys. The ferret's life cycle is a testament to the harsh realities of nature. With a mean life expectancy of just under a year in some areas and high juvenile mortality rates, Every day is a battle for survival. Yet, when they thrive, it's a sight to behold. The breeding season, starting from mid-March to early April, sees these solitary creatures come together. After a gestation period of around 42 to 45 days, 
a new generation of ferrets is born, continuing the cycle of life. Their historical range, vast and expansive, has now been reduced to specific reintroduction sites. Places like the Shirley Basin near Medicine Bow, Wyoming, have become crucial habitats with the largest population of reintroduced ferrets. These efforts aim to restore the balance of nature and ensure the ferret's rightful place in the ecosystem. The story of the black-footed ferret is not just about a species on the brink. It's a story about our relationship with nature, the consequences of our actions, and the lengths we can go to make amends. As we reflect on their journey, let it be a reminder of the intricate web of life and our role in preserving it. For in the survival of the black-footed ferret, we find hope for countless other species and the ecosystems they inhabit. And so, as the sun sets over the grasslands, we leave with a renewed sense of purpose, inspired by the resilience of the black-footed ferret and the collective efforts to ensure its survival. <laughs>